Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to another how to video, and in this video, we discuss ghusul. So, first things first, what is ghusul? Ghusul is the bathing ritual that we do as Muslims to remove ourselves from a state of major impurity. Now, what's a major impurity? It is a state that prevents us from a number of acts of worship, such as praying, entering the masjid, and performing tawaf. How do you know? when you're in a state of major impurity. Well, there are a number of reasons when you can be in such state. Some of the more common ones are when a woman is on her monthly cycle, when you engage in physical relations, or you experience a wet dream. All of these require you to perform ghusl in order to purify yourself. So now on to the main topic. How do we do ghusl? And there are two ways to perform ghusl. One is a very simple way, a simple version with two very easy steps. Step one, ensure you have the right intention and that is to say don't treat this bathing like a regular shower when you're cooling off. Remember it's an act of worship. Second step, ensure that the water reaches all parts of your body. You can accomplish this by just going into the shower or having a bath and you're done. That's it. Now that's the simple version but what is the prophetic way? What is the sunnah? To do ghusl like the Prophet Sallallahu did we have six steps. Step one, you ensure you have the right intention. Step two, you say Bismillah and you wash your hands. Step three, you proceed to wash your private parts. And then step four, you follow the steps of wudu as you normally would. A quick rundown of wudu would be washing your hands, rinsing your mouth and nose, Washing your face, washing your hands up to your elbows, wiping your head and ears, and washing your feet. You could also delay washing your feet until the end. Both are a sunnah from our beloved Prophet. Step 5 you pour water over your head three times, rubbing your hair so the water reaches the roots. And then step six, you wash your entire body, ensuring what reaches all parts. And it's the sunnah to start from the right side first, and then do the left side. And then remember to wash your feet at the end, if you didn't include them in the wudu earlier. And alhamdulillah, your ghusl is complete. Remember, there's always more reward in doing the ghusl the way the Prophet Sallallahu did. Thank you for watching. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like, subscribe and share with your friends. For more videos like this, check out our full how-to playlist in the description below. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.